Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and today I want to talk to you guys about something that doesn't always get discussed here in the online fitness community. Uh, when it comes to both confidence and character building is why strength training is actually oftentimes better at building your confidence than other training modalities. And that might seem like a contradiction at first because a lot of guys get into training and this is a perfect example. They, they get into training because they want to get more confident to attract women and more often than not, and there are exceptions to this rule, but more often than not, as uh, you hear people say, you know, the first day you walk into the gym is the day that you are forever small. And because when you're dealing with something that is such a su subjective as the attractiveness of your physique, your aesthetics, your lines, your proportions, you know, which is one thing that people train for, the problem is that it, that forces most people to be more self-critical. Um, they tend to judge each other more. And accordingly, for a lot of those guys, if you started with a confidence issue to begin with, you end up being more insecure in the long term, which, you know, really defeats the purpose. And, and I'm not saying that happens to everyone because there are clearly exceptions to this rule. Uh, like many other rules out there, there are exceptions. There are always exceptions. But a lot of people out there listening right now have been through this and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Because you're dealing with something as a saturated area, uh, you're always going to be comparing yourself, if you're training for that, to people who uh, have obtained results that you will probably never be able to obtain because they're usually genetically gifted uh, with extremely strict lifestyles and usually very uh, heavy drug regimens. And it's hard to compete with that. Uh, and I'm not telling guys that you shouldn't care about this at all because if you want a more aesthetic and more attractive physique, there's no reason you can't obtain that while strength training. You're just going to have to be tighter on your diet than a lot of strength athletes. But back to the bigger point at hand, when you are training for strength, you are training for something that is a long-term outcome that you can see objectively. Meaning there's no subjectiveness to it, there's no opinion on it other than maybe a judge looking and seeing, did you make a lift correctly? Uh, did you pause on your chest with a bench press? Did you go deep enough on a squat? Whatever. Um, there's criteria like that that might require an, an eye to look at it, but at the end of the day, when you are strength training, what are you focusing on? Performance. And we're dealing with stuff that is uh, measurable. In other words, when you come in and do a barbell squat, if you're doing a five rep set of barbell squats with uh, 300 pounds, either you did five reps with 300 pounds or you didn't. You either reached the goal or you didn't. And it doesn't have to be a squat. It doesn't even have to be a squat bench or, or deadlift. It could be overhead pressing. It could be weighted chin up. It could be a weighted dip. Right? You could look at any of these things and at least to know in your mind to some degree of objectivity, did you do the rep or not? Did you, did you successfully lift the weight or not? And if you did, you can write it down as a success. And the thing is, strength training is one of those things that really ramps up very, very quick early. Um, and a perfect example, if you run any of the novice strength-based programs out there, whether it's mine or strong lifts or uh, rip toes starting strength stuff or any of those, you see strength improvements very, very fast to the point to where I've had lots of guys say, oh, those strength standards are terrible. And I've been in the gym two, three years and I don't hit any of those. And then they go run one of the programs and then they hit them very, very quickly. And they say, okay, you're right. Now I understand why guys gain a lot of strength in one to two years running these sort of programs. Why guys who run these sort of programs inside of two years are usually, uh, unless they go to a more specialized gym, are usually the strongest guy in their gym unless they happen to train at a gym that specializes in strength. They're usually the strongest guy in the gym inside of two years, sometimes inside of one year. Because the progress comes very, very rapidly, it tends to boost confidence because it's something you can objectively measure and it's something that gives very fast results, particularly in the first couple of years. All right, if you're going to the gym or you're wanting to train to become more confident, this will do it. You will get more confident. And again, I'm not telling people that they need to 
bulk up and get fat or do any of the stuff that any of us have done who, who are strength athletes. I'm not saying you have to do that. That's not necessary to get dramatically stronger. But uh, those are things that people do who are trying to maximize strength as much as humanly possible, trying to get that last 10 to 20 percent. But a person can avoid doing those things and still get really really strong on any strength-based program and again you're doing something that you can objectively measure and then when it comes to other things with confidence and it comes to character building doing something like this usually requires consistent programming and training in other words to get objectively stronger you have to be consistent and you have to consistently put in work on a long-term plan and you have to do something that's physically challenging. There is something very, very confidence building about this. And there's something that builds a lot of character and internal strength that go with the external strength to come in and do something like this that's hard. Um, and that's one of the things that's always been noted by, by people who coach people in these strength training programs. Because you know what? Training for strength means that sometimes you're gonna lift heavy weights that you might fail on. You know, you're going to come in and do something that it's some days is going to be really hard to do. Maybe even days you don't want to come in and do it, but you've got a structured strength-based program that says you've got to train this day. And you know what? Coming in and consistently training when you don't want to train, you're stressed, you don't feel well, to come in and do that, working towards a long-term outcome, builds character, it builds fortitude, it builds resolve. And you know what? Coming in and doing something that's hard and which you might fail. Because you need to remember, unlike a lot of other stuff, the objective is not to fail when we try to lift weights. We're not trying to reach muscle failure. We're trying to successfully lift a weight. But to come in and to get under a bar with a new weight on it, uh, you're going to do three reps, five reps, whatever it happens to be, or you get further into your sets and you know you have one more set to do and it's going to be hard. Doing that knowing that you're doing something that's difficult that you could fail at, that you could get pinned under that weight. You might get stapled up to the floor with everyone watching inside the squat rack and have to crawl out from under the bar with the whole gym watching. That you might fail in front of everyone. But you do it anyways. And then another one of those workouts comes the next day or the next week and you have to do it again right there with other where other people can see you fail but you come in and you do it anyways what people need to understand is that doing something that's difficult where other people can see you knowing that it's going to be hard and you could fail builds character and it builds confidence it builds confidence of a certain type that unless you've ever done something like that you do not possess um, the confidence building of it is amazing. And for me, that's been a very important thing because, I mean, I know when I got really sick, um, my confidence and self-esteem were destroyed. But you know what? Since then, I've done powerlifting meets. I've retrained for strength. I have missed lifts in powerlifting meets, you know? I have been pinned under a squat at a powerlifting meet with 100 people standing there watching and with cameras rolling pinned right there with people watching me fail watching me fail while giving everything that I had and you know what I survived and I moved forward uh, you know what that builds self-esteem and if your self-esteem has been destroyed by something that will rebuild it it will make you feel good about yourself um, because you failed with other people watching, but you gave everything that you had. And it was the best that you could do, and you might have failed, but you gave 100%. That's a very, very powerful thing. And again, unless you have experienced something like that, of giving 100% and failing in front of other people, and then saying, you know what? I'm going to do better. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep training. I want to get stronger. I want to do better next time. Um, it changes you as a person. 
that sort of thing absolutely changes you as a person and it teaches you work ethic it teaches you the value of hard work and it teaches you the value of even failure that even failure can be a learning and growing experience for you and you know I've failed a hell of a lot of things in my life but you know what I've tried my best and particularly now that I'm older I've realized in retrospect that those are very powerful character building things and you can use those failures to improve yourself and that's one of the big things that you have in strength training you don't always have in other types of training is that you come in and you run the risk of failure you run the risk of failing but you know what you can still keep getting better yet failure isn't the end of the game all right guys but that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i will talk to you guys next time <laughs>